urgent message to Jehovah's Witnesses and all Christians. Monday, March 29, 2010, was Nice and 14, the true Jewish Passover. It was the night of the full moon. Tuesday, March 30th, Jehovah's Witnesses celebrated Passover. This was a sign to you that you are following the wrong one. I looked at the moon Tuesday night in a telescope, and there was a shadow on the leading edge of the moon. It was not a full moon Tuesday night, and it was not Niacin 14. In Revelation chapter 10, the true apostle John is told to eat a little scroll. It is sweet like honey, but bitter in the belly. The secret of this little scroll was sealed up until the Lord's day. The secret has now been unsealed. The little scroll is the writings of Paul, the imposter. Zechariah chapter 11 prophesies about the useless shepherd who comes after Messiah. This useless shepherd prophesied about was the false apostle Paul. Jesus quoted Daniel who wrote about the disgusting thing. Daniel wrote about the, this about the disgusting thing. He will lead into apostasy by means of smooth words. Jesus and Daniel prophesied about the liar, Paul. Jesus also spoke of weed seeds sowed with good wheat seeds. Jesus was prophesying about Paul's deceptive writings. Even ancient writings from Barnabas state that Paul was teaching apostasy. This has been unsealed now because we are in the 1290 days spoken of by Daniel at tw Daniel 12:11. Christians are followers of Paul. It was Paul who founded Christianity and has, it has remained so to this day. All Christianity is within Babylon and Revelation warns us to flee from Babylon if we do not want to share in her punishment. Revelation 18.4 There is only one way. Paul said he died for us, but he is a liar. Paul cannot give us life. Paul is leading us away from Jesus into death. Hate what is bad. Abandon Paul and his satanic teaching. Attach yourself to Jesus. Hear his word. Breathe his word. Drink his word. Drink what was written by Paul and you will be poisoned. Breathe what was written by Paul and you will have asthma. Hear what was written by Paul and you are lost.